welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog i i don't know if you can see in the background but i've had a busy morning filming i filmed a zara and mango haul which you probably would have seen by now i think it's gone up before this video if not then keep your eye out for it and i've been to the gym and my body is aching like mad i've just had a chicken wrap and then i had a knock on the door with a delivery and i need to share it with you all so i got so influenced by tiktok shop and i had to buy this makeup bag it comes in a few different colors but i thought i'd be a funky girl and go for green right it looks like a standard makeup bag right look at this when you open it up it literally opens like almost like a big bowl it is so roomy i feel like i'm going to be able to fit so much in there and my current makeup bag um is the louis vuitton little um i don't even know what it's called it's like the little toiletry pouch i think it's called and it's overflowing because i've got too much in it and i feel like it's going to get ruined with makeup in so i'd rather keep that for like when i'm traveling for like my perfumes and like nice beauty bits and i thought this was a great makeup bag i loved the color i love the like orangey brownie color inside and it's got loads of compartments so it's got two pockets here it's got a zip one in the middle and then a zip there it also came with this little perfume dispenser which you can put your perfume in and then you've got it for traveling honestly what a great tiktok shop purchase i can't link it can i because it's on tiktok shop but head to my TikTok and I'll do a video over on TikTok about it and link it on that video instead. But yeah, really impressed. And it came in like cream, blue, brown. It came in loads of colours. And I just think it's actually great. So I'm really happy with that purchase this morning. Okay, next on my list to do is to film a few more reels. I need to film the try on clips. So when you're watching my haul, there's obviously videos of me in the outfits. I need to film them and I've got a long admin list to work my way through and I also need to pop to a few shops because um, basically our friends have just moved into their new house and I want to do them like a little new house hamper so I ordered them a well I'll show you later on when I go to the shop I've got a couple of bits and bobs so we can make the hamper together but for now I'm going to crack on filming Crack on working, just want to jump on, say hello, show you my new makeup bag. Um, but yeah, speak to you later on. Okay, work and filming is all done for the day. I've quickly just chucked my new hat on from Mango because my hair and makeup after filming is always a mess. I think because I get changed like 20 times, sometimes even more. So I always look a bit dishevelled by the end. So we've got a hat on, Sara Bomber cargos and i'm about to head into the shop i'm going to go into b&m first because i need to get some cleaning bits and bobs and some dog treats and what else do i need oh i need some like tissue paper for the bottom of the hamper like you know just to make it look like pretty at the bottom of the basket so that is my first stop okay so we are home let me show you what i've got and what my plan is so this is the basket just like a cute little hamper basket, which I don't know where I've got. I've just had it for ages. I've got loads of them. Don't know where I've got them from. Um, and then I picked up from the card factory some shredded like tissue paper to go at the bottom to make it look a bit prettier. And then let me show you what I've got for inside. So first up, the essential for a new house or the essential for any household if you have not tried the dr beckman yeah dr beckman carpet cleaner it is a lifesaver it gets any stain out of anything we literally have a supply of this all the time so they've got a new house new carpets they're gonna need this i guarantee another classic some of flora linen fresh is just like the staple scent it's my fave it's fresh we're going in the spring just a nice little thing to put in the hamper a scrub daddy again another essential another item that i feel like everybody needs i wanted to get them like a couple of little cute bits 
a couple of little practical bits you know the drill they then so they have a dog as well so for their dog i got some treats and these ones and Corby's down there looking at me so I'm going to have to give him one because I got him a bag as well. You've had a lot of treats today but you do deserve it because you are a very good boy. There you go. Good boy. So yes, I got him some treats and while Corby's left the room I also got him a little toy for his new house. The fact I've got a whisper that. Like, as if I've got an actual full-blown child, but he will get jealous, so... This little... what is it? A donkey. A little donkey. Um, I got them some Malteser bunnies. I got them a card. I got them some digestives, because when we've got people around to see the house, and they're coming around for a cup of tea, they're going to want a biscuit. I also got them these two mugs, which I think are absolutely gorgeous love them then let me go and get the other thing i got them this sandalwood white company um little diffuser and candle set it's like a little gift set i just thought that was really cute um and also a bottle of wine so i'm gonna start building this up i feel like it'll look really cute when it's all in and i got them a card as well hope it all fits in there i think it will okay let's do this okay change of plan i've obviously just filled this but i think it just looks too cramped so i've got this bigger one which i'm gonna do because then i can do a nicer little setup whereas that's just looking a bit busy so we're gonna switch it over much better how cute does that look now i've been able to actually like space things out properly so cute i've just ate a squares bar so sorry if i've got squares bar in my teeth and sorry about that but just um got this through bit of a random ah, i'm flashing red bit of a random purchase but i actually feel like some of you dog moms out there will appreciate this this is a mat to put Kobe's food on on the floor you know when like the balls are just on the floor like i feel like it needs a little mat but all the ones that I've seen weren't very like aesthetically pleasing until I came across this. So it's literally just a little square mat, almost like a tray. Yeah, this is for your balls so that you don't make mess on the lovely floor. And then you just put the balls on it. Random. I'll link it down below because I bet you there's a dog mum out there who wants this. Um, came in a few different colours. I've got like the sandy, creamy colour. Let me set it up and I'll show you. Do you like it? Good boy. So this is where we keep Kobe's food in the utility. This radiator is always switched off, so it's fine under there. Um, but yeah, just better than having it like directly on the floor where it could like leave watermarks or stain. I think that's a great little addition to the utility room if you ask me. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. That is one of our bedside table lamps in the back there flying about. I got two gorgeous ones from Next, I think I showed them a few vlogs ago, um, but I'll show you. Nip and punch for the first of the month. Oh, what's that? It's the first of April today. Can't believe it's actually April already. This year's gone so quickly, isn't it? 
Um, today, this morning, we are off to look at some fireplaces for our media wall. So I don't think I've actually shown the design for it yet because I want to keep it as a surprise. Oh, sure. And I'll do like a full vlog for it. But um, we're essentially having like shelves and then the TV and like a fireplace underneath. Is it's it? Longer. You know where it belongs. It doesn't belong there. Um, it's an electric fireplace we're getting. Yes. We're getting just an electric fireplace um, to go underneath the TV. But there's certain ones that we like and certain ones that we really don't like. So we need to go and oh. look at them. Oh. Oh. Corby, oh, that is a Corby. Hey that is a Corby. Um, so yeah, there's certain ones that we really like, and there's certain ones that we really don't like. So we need to go and have a look in person to choose which one we want, and we need to get that ordered because the media wall is starting this month. There's a lot going on this month in April. My wardrobes are getting fitted, our beds getting delivered and fitted, and the media wall is getting fitted. So there's a lot going on housewise. So a lot of home updates coming your way. But well, we're going to pop to there, pop to like the showroom, look at some fireplaces and then we might pop to Ikea as well if we've got time before Jordan goes to football because we need some drawers for like inside Jordan's wardrobe. Basically like there's an area where you could put drawers so we need to find something to go in there and we also need a big rail for one of the cupboards and some shoe storage for the cupboard. So we just want like, in Ikea you can get almost like metal shelves or like wooden shelves for the shoes like I don't want like a shoe cabinet I just want like shelves right. do you know what I mean um yeah that's the plan for today okay fire shop was successful there was only literally one that we really liked in there um I've got loads of fluff this jacket I love by the way it's April and I'm still wearing multiple layers but this jacket you get fluff everywhere I always get it stuck to my lips so yeah we went for one of the Avanti electric fires so you can like control it from your app um, it looked the most natural it was like actual like wood in it um, and you can have it like a nice like red like fire colour which is what we wanted so yeah got that ordered hopefully it comes in time for the media order to start which is in like three weeks so let's just keep our fingers crossed for that um, I don't think there's any pictures of it in here well, there will be but i don't know which one it is there was so many like lovely setups in there like gorgeous media walls we eventually want to do like a bit of an extension out the back because we want the kitchen to have like the kitchen bit the dining bit and then almost like a living area out the back and like push the bifolds back and do it around two sides jordan's trying to communicate with me through the window um and in that we would like like a log burner style fire so it was good to have a little look at them as well because there were some gorgeous ones that got me really excited for that but that's a project for probably the end of this year maybe next year um, but yeah just putting petrol in and then we're heading to Ikea let's see what he's got me ah, my favourite Let me see. Thank you. You didn't These. have the normal light ones. I like the caramel market all one as well. Good. These are so good, I literally get it every time I put petrol in. Highly recommend. Mm. <laughs> we have arrived at IKEA on a Saturday. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Successful shop. I knew you were going to have to do that. I will give you a haul when we get home. And I've got more flat, 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 flat pack. I think we need a few do. more hangers too. Yeah. I'm starving. Let's go home. We are home from IKEA. Let me show you what we got. It's not too exciting, to be honest. First thing is this doormat for inside because we've got one outside but when you come in the front of our house is just getting really really muddy so i thought this is quite nice a bit more like of a nicer texture than like your standard doormat and then we basically just bought which i'll show you in a minute i'm going to build it today 
Um, it's a TV stand, but it's gonna go in our downstairs cupboard because it's basically got two shelves and then two drawers. So we're gonna use it to put shoes on and then in the drawers we can put like hats, scarves, like little bits because we're basically turning that cupboard into like a little bit of like a cloak cupboard thing. So like a rail from Amazon, which is like a heavy duty, just like plain rail to go on the top so we can hang all of our like dog walking coats up and like everyday coats instead of putting them on like a hook on the back of the door because we've got so many and it just ends up getting really messy and it's a nightmare to get one off if you want different ones you know depending on the weather I want a different coat so we've got this TV unit because it's going to be perfect for that space but we picked up this which is just like a boot tray I think is actually what it was like some sort of like boot storage thing what's it called Okay, it doesn't say what it's called, but it was with like shoe storage. So I just got this to go on the top. So like with our walking boots and stuff, it's not going to make it really muddy because it is like a white wood unit. Obviously, it's going to get a bit grubby, but I just thought this could be good to prevent it. And it was like three pound. And then got some coat hangers for Jordan's wardrobe and also some coat hangers for our coats under the stairs to go on the rail. So let me show you the, oh, we also got, which has already been given, so he's already been running around with it. Could be this little toy. Granted, they're not dog toys, so we just keep an eye on them because they usually last him quite a while before he starts trying to pull the fluff out. He's quite good, he actually doesn't rip his toys to shreds. So we got him this little, Toy. This is the little storage unit that we've got. So it is a TV stand, but I think it could definitely pass as like boot shoe storage, which is what we're going to use it for. And this is the cupboard. Obviously, excuse the paneling that hasn't been painted yet, but it's quite a big, deep cupboard in here. I need to undo that. How do I there? Yep, so it's quite a big cupboard. Obviously, at the minute, we've literally got mirrors and pictures I need to be put on the wall just been keeping them there out the way and then coats in a pile there with shoes so as you can see it's quite a deep why is it not focusing it's quite a deep big cupboard um and I think that that'll look really nice in there in the middle when you open it and just be actually very practical as well good morning guys it is now the next day I spent the rest of yesterday cleaning the house which took up more time than I expected and then I had to get ready because we were going out for a meal with my family so I didn't end up building the shoe cabinet yesterday so we're going to do that now it's now Sunday we just had our friend round had a coffee and Jordan's now gone to help our friends moving into their house and I'm going to build this before heading over later to help slash drink Prosecco but yeah first things first let's crack on with building this I'm going to pop some YouTube on the telly and transform this cupboard. Got my drill at the ready, let's go. Jordan just popped in in between helping 
our friends move and he was like you really are a DIY queen why is that wonky then I might have spoke too soon there I think the thing with IKEA furniture is sometimes it does just look a little bit wonky like just because that's just the way it is you know okay and there is the finished unit you can see how it would be a TV stand and actually it would be quite a lovely TV stand but I think it works perfect for the space in the cupboard. It obviously looks wider but when you go in the cupboard it goes either side. Um, so we're going to have like shoes on the top, shoes on these two and then the drawers for like Kobe's bits and bobs, hats, scarves, extra things. Just think it's a really good use of space and then like I said the rail at the top. So I am now going to attempt to empty all these coats the rail is coming in like an hour i've been tracking it move all of these like pictures and mirrors and stuff that need to go different places around the house and get this moved in and this is how the cupboard is now looking we need to get something in the middle because we're scared it's gonna literally just fall off because why is it not focusing because obviously it's quite a long rail um, and it's only held up by each side. So we've pushed both our, we've pushed all the jackets to either side so that it's not putting a lot of pressure in the middle. And then obviously the shoe cabinet is here. Ignore all this stuff. We are just keeping that out because we're literally putting stuff up every single day at this point. So it's easier leaving it there than putting it in the garage. But yeah, this is a lot more orderly and a lot more organized now. So I'm very happy with how that's looking. And obviously it's literally behind these doors in the cupboard so I wasn't really bothered about it looking particularly like nice. It was more just practicality and it did the job. It's actually a new day now and I've just been to Matalan because I saw a TikTok of someone showing like home wine in Matalan and I was like wow that actually looks really nice. I've never been in Matalan before. Well I haven't for years and... It had some good bits and bobs. First thing I got was this little utensil pot because the one that we've got on here on the side, this just came with the um, utensils. These are from Amazon, by the way, and it was like a pack of like, God knows how many, but every one you could potentially need for like really affordable and they're like silicone ones, so they're really easy to clean and they're like a nice nude color. But to be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of this pot. I just put it there for the time being. So I thought I'd replace it with this. I love that. Let me take the price off and the barcode off. Obviously have more utensils that are just in the dishwasher at the minute. Let's see how she looks on there. Oh, much better. Yeah, that goes with the vibe a lot better and then this next thing I actually just couldn't resist I nearly didn't get it I thought Dion you don't need that but then I thought I know it's going to get to a point in summer and I'm going to regret not purchasing this that is the most cute thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life so this is what is the technical name for this a food cover don't know if that's technical but this is a food cover and I thought in the summer when we're having barbecues and we're hosting and we've got my famous choppy salad out on the island waiting for Jordan to cook some prawns and steak on the barbecue, this can cover the salad to keep it fresh and it can go over, can you see that? I can't reach to get it down. But that bowl up there is the bowl that we bought in Amalfi after we got engaged and it's just a gorgeous little lemon bowl. So we can use that, put our salad in, and cover it with that. And sorry, but I just I had to. I had to get it. It was only, how much even was this? I don't know how much it was. I think it was like nine pound. But I thought that's just such a cute little summer essential. And then I've literally just picked up loads of bulbs. My dad is coming tomorrow because he is an electrician, if you guys didn't know that. He is coming to help us Put up loads of lights we've got so many different lights to put up and it's not just like light shades it's like full-on fixtures um we're adding a plug somewhere we are we've got loads of stuff loads of stuff to do um so my dad's coming to help so i just went and picked up 
loads of bulbs because every single light that I've bought needs a different bulb. So, and who knew there was even that many? I had to get, I've, le I've really learned about bulbs this week because I've had to order so many different types. Guys, how cute is this? Simi times me, which I'm gonna do um, a try on haul because obviously a lot of that collection was wedding guest outfits and I feel like we're coming into wedding season so I'm gonna do a little try on haul to show you at some point because I feel like it'll be useful. Um, let me show you what they've sent me. Basically, from the event that we had for the launch of my collection, we had loads of personalised bits and they've sent them to me to keep for keepsake. So we've got the cocktail menu, which has a Diolini, which is peach and Prosecco, new bee ginnings, which is gin, olive, bay leaf and lemon, a crotini, which is vodka, coffee, espresso, sugar, Saying I Dio, which is, I can't even say that, something with an Americano apple. Just loads of really cute personalised cocktails, which we actually want to do for the wedding. Me and Jordan always said for the wedding that we're going to have like personalised cocktails between me and him. So we've already got someone there that we can steal. We just need some lavender ones and Jordan ones to put in. We've also got the food menu. They sent me a little bottle of Prosecco. Also some chocolates, but they're downstairs. And then also the napkins, which are personalised. So if you ever come for dinner at my house, you best believe that you're getting a personalised Simi Dion Crow napkin. And they're a gorgeous colour. So how cute is that? Nice to have and nice to keep as well. I am actually going to end this vlog here because we have just had the most exciting delivery. We've had people in the house all day today fit in something and I can't wait to show you so you will see that in the next vlog but I was editing this one today and I feel like it's a good length to end it here make sure to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy it and as always I will see you in the next one guys bye